Hey there, welcome to my first ever video training log. Basically, I'm going to be giving you a background, behind the scenes look at how I like to train, as well as some of the thought process that goes into it. So right now, I'm on a four day a week training cycle where I train twice, uh, two upper body days and two lower body days. So this is uh, taking place in week six of my current program, and this is on a Tuesday. So this is my first lower body workout of the week. Of the week. Uh, so we're starting off here with just a warming up for a Bulgarian special squat. I decided to do two warm-up sets here uh, because the main lift that I'm doing is pretty heavy and I wanted to make sure that everything was good to go. And of course, before doing these uh, warm-up sets, I also started off with the bold dynamic warm-up. So yeah, the warm-up for this day consisted of about, I did some static stretching for about five minutes then a little bit of foam rolling, and then went through my dynamic exercises. Took about 10 to 15 minutes in total, and then started off with these Bulgarians. So here we are now to the first working set. What I'm doing here is 155 pounds for four reps on each side with a isometric hold at the bottom. Should be between the two to three seconds for those holds. And this is a pretty challenging main lift. Um, Prior to this cycle, I hadn't done this exercise for a few months. And so the way that I progressed to this weight was the last, uh, I like to do three week mini cycles. So I've only been doing this exercise for three weeks here now. So week four, I would have done 135 for six. Week, uh, week five would have been 145 for five. And this week we have 155 for four for each of those. I started to play around with the three week minute cycles a few years ago, uh, thanks to Joe DeFranco. And I found that I quite like it and as well, my clients enjoy it as also. Uh, so typically I'll do about six, six weeks, six or nine weeks before doing a deload week, kind of depends on how my body's feeling. After these last couple of weeks, I do feel like I'm ready for a deload. However, the Super Bowl is this weekend and I know I'm gonna be eating quite a bit. So I think I'm going to do a regular week seven and then do a deload of week eight and then kind of restart from week seven after that. And speaking of the Super Bowl, I'm a pretty big football fan. And for this weekend, I'm pretty sure that the Rams are going to win, but I'm happy either way. I think there's a lot of uh, good storylines for both teams. Number one, I think it'd be cool for Aaron Donald to get a ring, but we'll see how it goes. Should be fun. Should be a fun game. Now, as we come to this third uh, third working set here, this will be the final set for this exercise. I'm only doing three working sets for everything today. Uh, this is more of a dynamic effort exercise day. So I think I'm pushing myself a little bit, but overall not too crazy. Uh, in terms of how this weight was feeling, it actually was easier than I thought it was going to be feeling. Uh, I feel like I could definitely handle another 10 pounds total. Although at the end here, my right knee was unhappy a little bit in the front and that threw me off a little bit. You'll see as I get up here, I think I was thinking about my knee, kind of missed the, the, uh, the racking of the plates, but no harm, no foul. And then moving along to the next exercise, we have the Romanian deadlifts. So I have the Bulgarians for the quad dominant, Romanians here for my hip hinge. Uh, I just unracked the weight and use what I had on the bar there for this first warm-up set. So that's 135 for eight. Uh, so I'll be going to 275 for eight as my working set. So I figured this would be a nice little warm-up weight. Then I went back and looked at the footage and it would have been preferable to have more of a side angle so I can see how my back is and just how low I'm getting. But so I have to trust that my technique is solid and I can definitely feel as I'm doing this. But yeah, here's the first set of 275 for eight. Uh, I quite enjoy Romanian deadlifts. And then here, I'm going to be supersetting those Romanian deadlifts with a single leg calf raise. Um, it should be going a, with the nice and slow up and down and under control. To give you a history as to why I'm doing these, basically since 2015, every summer, uh, I've gotten really bad Achilles tendonitis. Uh, now that I've looked back and thought about it more, I want to say it's most likely because I uh, did the winter time, 
I live in a cold place, so I don't. I basically hibernate in the wintertime and don't do any running. And then come springtime, I go all out, and it's too much for my body to handle. And so this year, I finally actually looked into rehabbing and hopefully doing things correctly. So a big part of that has been doing a whole bunch of calf and Achilles exercises uh, just in order to strengthen everything. And hopefully I'll be good to go for this summer. So overall, like my goal and intentions, uh, doing this because I plan to play uh, outdoor soccer this year. And I want to be able to actually run. Like the last... Last couple of years, I really had to limit how much I run in order to, you know, try not to tear my Achilles and I'm always in pain and all that jazz. It's not ideal. And then as the end of this uh, set here, I was one less. I was one rep less than I wanted to do. I went up in weight here, and I uh, lost my grip there. So I'm not using over any over under grip or like that for this one. I just wanted to test and see what I could do with the two and then i decided for that last set to use a little bit of chalk and really just try to squeeze through it but we'll get there in a moment but going back to these uh achilles here uh i haven't really done too much running still yet so we're in february and it's just been the uh a whole bunch of achilles work a lot of isometrics a lot of going up and down and then for the last number of weeks, I've started to do, I have some turf area, so I've been doing ladder drills on there, along with um, Prowler sled. So I've been using the Prowler uh, barefoot for going forward and backwards, and you can see at the end of that set there, my hands, they were not happy with that. So also for the third set, I increased the weight a little bit, dropped the reps, dropped the reps and Felt manageable for my hamstrings and for the Achilles. There's been times in the past when I've been doing these simple uh, ham, uh, calf raises and I could feel a little bit of a tweak in my Achilles. So anyway, just going on now to the uh, final thing here. We have stability ball extensions going up for 12. This is a great anti-extension core movement. This is probably like a 5 or 6 out of 10 for difficulty for me. But again, this is a... Kind of dynamic everyone it's just more so to give my core a little bit of stimulus and then we have here the hip ups with my ghetto version of the monkey feet so i've been experimenting with this for the last three weeks and i was feeling good today to try i wanted to try it with the so i've been messing around with, with different bands and figuring out the weight that's appropriate for me and today i wanted to see if i could just go straight into straight into it without putting a shoe on using my feet and you can see I had to adjust it try to feel comfortable but unfortunately it doesn't turn out well so using like this pen is uh, preferable to gotta have some shoes so adding the monkey feet to my uh, it's up in, the, up in the top of my list right now for things to buy because this is a great tool that'd be awesome for working your hip flexors hamstrings I was like that, as you can see, there goes the band there now. And so overall right here, working on these hip flexors, because once again, I haven't really been running this year. And I've noticed in years past, uh, my hip flexors are an area that tend to be on the weaker point and especially when I get fatigued or whatever, that's, that's a spot that I have some issues with. And so if you are gonna try using this at home, I. Included the, the, I included the footage for me putting it on. Basically, you put your foot over top of the dumbbell, and then, oh, see, I didn't, I was rushing. I didn't, foolish, I didn't tie my shoes before the soles. I was just kind of done with the workout at this point. Just wanted to kind of get it over with. So I flipped, flipped off again. But, anyways, for putting them on, you want to go in front of your foot, put that underneath the dumbbell, and then wrap it around so it gets on the back. So that was the first set there. In the case you missed the numbers, we're doing 12 reps for the stability ball extensions and 12 reps for the hip ups with the dumbbell. Or I guess it'd be better to call them knee ups. Regardless, we're back into the core here now. So might as well use this time now to go over what my current training plan is and current training goals are. So for the most part, in general, I'm pretty much just trying to uh, 
maintain the strength and athleticism that I have, except for a few areas. So the number one thing I'm working on is the Nordic hamstring curls. Uh, I've been working on those for a number of months now, and I'm getting close to being able to do them fully uh, without any uh, support. And that's one thing I want to get continue to get really good at because I've had a number of hamstring issues in the past, and I'm very excited to see how this year goes after putting in a decent amount of time with those Nordic hamstring curls and just seeing how my hamstrings feel if it's carried over to my speed as well. And also, as I mentioned about the uh, my Achilles and stuff like that, uh, I need to continue making sure that my calves and Achilles are strong. So my main areas of, that I care about right now are like all lower body stuff. And as well, I've been working on improving my mobility for my hip flexors and keep my quads strong. Uh, so those things like the Bulgarian split squats, I've also do something called like an ATG split squat. Shout out to Nils Overtoll guy from that. And I've been experimenting with that for the last number of months and I've been quite enjoying that. So in terms of some actual measurable goals and ideas, uh, I'd like to be able to do five reps of the Nordic hamstring curls unassisted. Uh, I think in the short term, getting those uh, knee ups to about 50 pounds uh, for 10 reps would be awesome. And as I am able to do more running, uh, a goal that I set last year, which I couldn't do because I had to rest my Achilles, but I'm gonna make sure I get that done this year, would be to one run a 5K in 20 minutes. Because I believe that'll be, uh, to me, that's a really good marker of fitness that we'll be able to maintain while playing soccer. And I want to overall just, you know, maintain my uh, health and not get injured as best as I can. And then also just like maintain my weight. So I'm at about 200 pounds right now. I like to stick with that. I try not to go any over there. So that one into five to 200 pound range is where I like to hang out for my weight. And yeah, as we come to the final exercise, just want to thank you for sticking around to the end here. Hopefully you found this interesting. Hope you learned a couple things. Uh, I'm not sure how often I'm going to be doing these video log type videos, but I have some more useful content on the way. So if you like what you saw and heard, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it below. And yeah, thanks again for checking out my video. I hope you have yourself an awesome day. Take care.